Um, today I am in my bathroom because I'm gonna show you guys my zero waste shower routine. So I'm in a sports bra and underwear, <laughs> love that. And I'm gonna shower for you. I guess we'll just jump in the shower and I'll talk through what I'm doing. I kind of want to go through my products because my first YouTube video that was zero waste related actually was my shower routine. Uh, I'll toss that above. If you want to check that out, I'm going to update my routine because it's changed a lot. There's some things I definitely missed, um, things I've learned along the way that I'm going to share with you. Those are my products. I basically have five, five items that are like my ride or die things. I guess we'll just jump in the shower and I'll talk through what I'm doing. This feels really silly. Okay, so I usually wash my hair first. So I've been using this duo. This is the High Bar shampoo bars and I've been loving them. Um, I'll add all the information about them to the side, but they're really great. They're sulfate free um, and they're kind of shaped pretty cool. Look at this, you kind of like hold it like this and just rub it into your hair. They don't suds nearly as much as the um, Lush ones that I've tried, but I think that's because of the ingredients and they're definitely not um, as drying on your scalp. I know with the Lush ones, I kind of had itchy scalp when I would use them for long periods of time, but I don't get the, I don't get that at all with this. Um, and I know if you process your hair, it's a lot safer to use these. Um, than the Lush ones just because of the ingredients. And I don't wash my hair every time I shower, obviously like most women, I'll go like three days without washing my hair um, and just take body showers, which is great because those are super quick. But I make sure to massage my scalp to get that all clean. And now we rinse. Okay, then because I like to keep the conditioner in my hair as long as possible, right after I shampoo, I will go ahead and run this through. This conditioner is insanely amazing. Definitely um, rivals with my ride or die um, bar none conditioner. So if you are in the market to try something new, definitely give um, high bar a try, but it's just as good as the uh, bar none one. So very, very like slippery in your hands as soon as you pick it up and just starts melting as soon as you touch it. So sometimes I just rub my hands around like this and then put it to the top, you know, let that sit. So that's what I do and I wait to rinse that out and then I wash my body and my face. So I'm gonna just go ahead and just rub my body. I have this super, super tiny piece of body soap, body bar. Um, I got these from the local flea mar farmer's market that's um, around weekly. So I use these guys up and I use them until they get really, really small. And then I collect my tiny bits of this and I'm gonna make a Franken soap. Um, <laughs> so like melt all the tiny pieces together and make a bar of soap out of them. So I'm just gonna use my dry brush which will now be a wet brush because I'm in the shower, um, and scrub myself down. I love this, it's so good for exfoliating. Um, and then I have another tip for exfoliating, zero waste. Woo, stay cold. <laughs> this feels so funny. I'm now washing my face with my little sage face bar. Rub that around in my hand like a little pebble. Okay, so now I would usually shave with my, um, whew, gosh, so that's up in my eyes. So at this point in my shower, I would usually shave, but I'm not gonna shave for you today because that would take way too long and that's so boring and I hate shaving. But when I do shave, I use my safety razor and there's just a um, blade that goes in here and you can buy a pack of like 100 for 10 bucks and you're set for the rest of your life. So these do take a little bit of practice to get used to, um, but once you get the hang of it, you're fine. You're good to go. Um, then next, this is, this is like the biggest change from my last video is that I do a apple cider vinegar rinse on my scalp because like I said, um, when I was using the Lush shampoo bars, they did give me like dry scalp and I felt a little flaky and I had never had that issue before with like normal store-bought shampoos. 
So I read online that doing an apple cider vinegar rinse in the shower, one is like phenomenal for your hair, makes it so silky smooth. Some people use it as their um, conditioner, but I don't love the smell of it. So just doing a little bit of a spritz in my scalp and rinsing it through definitely helps keep my pH balance on my scalp all set. So this is just diluted apple cider vinegar with um, a few essential oils. And I just do this, just kind of spray it around. Can you hear Gizmo freaking out? He's like, where are you? He's probably so confused. So just there, up in the top. And I let that sit for a little bit too. And when I rinse out my conditioner, it kind of just like drips through my whole scalp. Um, and that being said, that basically is like the conclusion, but then as a little additive sometimes as an exfoliant, I take my coffee grounds from the morning. This is just a repurposed jar. And I do a little bit of Castile soap and water, adding um, a card above for the whole like uh, tutorial on how to make this, it's so easy. But this is great for an exfoliant, a totally zero waste exfoliant. So I'll show you how phenomenal this is. Look at that. Ooh. Zero waste spa day, who? So this feels really good and it's a great way to use your coffee grounds. I mean, you don't feel like putting them in the compost that day. So, I love doing it on my legs before I shave. Oh, yes, it's so good. It definitely makes a mess in the shower. So do it on a day that you know you'll clean. I'm going to turn you off and then finish an actual shower <laughs> without clothes on. Hi. Okay, so now this is all just like my shower post routine. So I figured I'd add it. So I have these um, compostable Q-tips. I know Q-tips are kind of a weird topic to talk about because some people say you shouldn't use them in your ear and other people are like, it's fine. Um, but I like these, every once in a while I use them and I just put them into my compost. So that's just a tip. I'll link the ones I got below. Um, I have a little dry compost bin in my bathroom too for like um, toilet paper rolls, The toilet paper that the wrap the paper that wraps the toilet paper so that's all just dry compost and I dump it into my compost when I go drop it off link to my composting video um and so yeah now I'm just gonna show you I brush my hair while it's still wet because my hair is kind of curly and I do have some um oils like jojoba oil I'll put in the tips of my hair sometimes if it's feeling extra dry but for the most part I don't really use any um, product in my hair. Um, what you can do sometimes, I do this if my hair is feeling a little dry, I'll take the conditioner bar and roll it through my hands just while it's still a little bit wet from the shower um, and use that extra conditioner as like a moisturizer for my hair. So just did that. And now this is an, one of my favorite things for my hair. This is my Etitude towel absolutely a luxury product you don't need it you could always just use a cotton t-shirt but it kind of does the same thing as uh drying your hair with a cotton t-shirt rather than a like terry cloth towel it just doesn't make it as frizzy if you have curly hair when it dries Whoop. okay i missed a little bit of hair there but it's kind of actually kind of cute so now i just finish up with lotion on my face my holy grail face lotion is out there with my makeup and this has stayed the same from my last video. This is my body oil that when I'm feeling like I need, instead of lotion, I don't really love the way lotion feels. I feel like it's too thick, but I do love a body oil. And I think in my last video, I said I was using jojoba oil or something, sweet almond oil, something like that. But now I use grapeseed oil, which you can get in your local like cooking aisle, like next to the olive oil. And you can get a big tub of this that's in a glass jar. So that's what I did. I have one in the kitchen and now I have this one in the bathroom. So I like to just do a little pump of that and rub it on in. The grapeseed oil is really, really good for your skin. Um, I think it has like a slight SPF in it. Rumor has it. Um, let me fix this. This is my favorite um, for body oil lotion. Great post shave. Um, and then another thing that I also have in the bathroom here, if I'm feeling extra luxurious and I want to give myself a special spa moment, um, my Plain Cosmetics um, Solid Body Scrub. I reviewed them a while back and I also talk about 
how great they are as a brand. Uh, but this one is breakfast in bed and it's just, this is the body scrub side. You do this while you're like in the shower with wet skin. And then there's a lotion side. So these are great too. And they're totally zero waste. So I've been talking a lot. Oh, I'll just show you what my hair looks like after being up for a sec. Nice and clean. Got a little bit of a curl, a little bit of a bounce happening. So that's about it. If you guys like this video, please like it and subscribe if you want more content like this. I have been having a lot of fun making these videos and I love reading your comments. So share below if you have anything fun to say. Um, other than that, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Oh, I kicked the camera. Bye.